All right then, so things are looking pretty good. We can successfully list all the blogs and we can add new blogs. We can also see the blog details as well when we click on a blog. Now what I'd like to do is be able to delete a blog by clicking on a button at the bottom of the blog details component. So let's try doing that. So over to blog details. Now what I'm gonna do is place this just at the bottom of the article. It's gonna be a button and it will say do 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 delete. And then we need to attach a click handler to this. So on click and we set it equal to something. Now we need to create a function that we can associate with this button. So let's do that at the top. I'm going to call this handle click and set it equal to a function like so. Now let's associate that down here, handle click. So this is going to fire when we click on this button. So then inside this button, I want to make a fetch request, which is going to be a delete request. So let's say fetch. Then we need the end point, which I'm going to get from the home component right here because I'm super lazy. Don't want to retype it out from scratch. So we paste this in. And again, let's get rid of the extra quotations. We also need to tack on the ID of the blog we want to delete. So forward slash blogs forward slash ID. Now we have access to that blog right here so we can get the ID property from that or from here, it doesn't really matter. Let's get it from the blog just to be different. So plus and then blog.id like so. Okay, so that's the end point. Next we need our second argument inside the fetch. That is the object where we can say the method this time is going to be delete. And that's all we need to do in there. We're not sending any data. All we're doing is asking JSON server to delete the blog with this ID. All right. So then we can tack on a then method to this because it's asynchronous, which is going to fire a function when it's complete. And inside here, what I'd like to do is again, redirect the user to the home page once they've deleted it because once they've clicked a button to delete it, it makes no sense to stay on this page. We want to take them back to the home page. So let's do that by first of all using the use history hook. So const history is equal to use history. Press enter to auto import that at the top. And then we can use that inside this then block. All I'm going to do is say history dot push to push on a new route. And it's going to be to just forward slash, which is the home page. So fingers crossed, this all should work. Let's take a look first of all at this. And I'm actually going to add some styles in just to make that look a little bit better. These are coming from my repo. So if you want to copy and paste them as well, you can. I'm going to do this up here for the blog details like so. We give it a background, text color, no border, bit of padding, border radius, cursor, very simple styles. Looks like this now. Let's try going to a different blog, one of the gobbledygook ones like this. We'll delete it and it takes us back to the home page. Let's delete the others just to get rid of them like so. Yep, works. And then finally this one, voila, all works. Cool. So that is pretty much it. We've pretty much completed the blog. There is one more thing I do want to do and that is to set up a 404 page for if we go to some kind of URL that doesn't exist like this. And we'll see how to do that next.